Hello everyone, welcome to the Hi-Fi Show 2.0, the new edition. Thank you all for your submissions. Hopefully this will be a feature on the channel, something that will be present if the feedback, if the impact will be good. I hope so. I think it's interesting to explore other people's systems and I think the the, the version of me reacting to it is much more interesting than just listing what other people have or listening to them, okay? It just adds a little touch of, of I don't know what, of that quid that will give you that taste, I think, to the videos upcoming. This one and the following ones, hopefully. Uh, this is going to be a true reaction, okay? I have did not see any videos, okay? All the ones you sent me, I did not see one single one. I just open it very briefly, the few two or three seconds to see the length. Then I put them in a, in a folder in order to have about five, like we're gonna take a look at five videos now. And I'm just gonna watch along with you. If I have something to say, I'll say something. Otherwise, I'll just watch and probably say something at the end. Clearly, I'm not an, a complete expert, okay? I'm not a reviewer. I don't know all the brands, all the different types of materials, of different types of gear. A lot of stuff is gonna be completely new to me and you're gonna know it perfectly. So there is gonna be this contrast, but I think, once again, it is fun. Are you ready? Ready to start? First video. I have no idea what's inside them. I hope nothing obscene, as I said in the, in the call. Let's start with the first one. Go! Hi, this is Peter, Peter Briggs from the northwest of England. Currently, my system is going through a state of flux. I've recently purchased these beautiful Bucard 10th anniversary speakers. They're active and they're driven by a Class D power amplifiers within the solid wood cabinet. They're also got a DSP in there, so therefore you can change the configuration by the dongle, a little dongle here. What I have as my front end, again, this is on demo, is the Riga Isis. But I'm favoring purchasing the Riga Isis with four valves at the base here, there, which is the output stage. This feeds into a name 282, which is powered by a supercap. Unfortunately, my CDS3 C CD player, which was here, my pride and joy, and I've got the superfluous 55 down here, had ingress of water through my Velux window. So I'm now looking at CD players. I was considering a CD transport and a DAC. Now that is so sad, oh my god! If I understand correctly, he had water coming from the from the windows up above. Oh my god! A nightmare for any hi-fi geek. Be careful where you position your stuff guys. Cats, dogs, kids, and I guess even windows. But I'm favoring this model because it's built like a tank and it's got a Philips Pro CD mechanism, really good mechanism in there. And there is extended life because Riga take two mechanisms and store them within the manufacturing for every unit sold. So there is a service backup. As a system, it's beautiful. And there's a lack of cables now because these are connected by a wiser link which the 2A2 goes to which I might be considering doing an upgrade on this particular product here again from Bucard. I can't say enough about these Bucards they've got a fantastic base response really large presentation depth wide it's just a beautiful sounding speaker. For the size, it's like listening to a floor standing speaker, which I had previously. Anyhow, this is the end of my uh, brief presentation. 
and you never know you might see a completely different system within a couple of months take care and enjoy the rest of the show perfect thank you so much peter right i think it was peter thank you so much wow i'm very envious because when you guys have these night nice neat little small uh, perfectly calibrated systems i love that mine is a mess it's completely crammed with stuff with cables stuff coming in coming out clearly but very very nice uh i like it a lot i must admit especially the the riga isis wow that really looks like an excellent player uh, i would love to try it as a transport actually and um what else if i understand the the, the speakers the, the bu cards which i which we are all hearing a lot talking a lot about them they are active. So on, on that rig, do you have an amplifier by name? Is that an amplifier or is that just, just the, mm, the power supply to the preamp? Maybe, maybe that's the configuration. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of DSPs. Uh, active loudspeakers could be. Why not? If, if I mean, the synergy clearly is uh, the best of the best. Why not? I mean, sometimes you can achieve amazing results. DSP with, for example, as you remember, I tried with my Triton Gold uh, reference. Uh, I don't know. I, I do sense there is a little bit of sophistication of not complete, complete naturalness. But every case clearly is on itself. Okay, let's proceed with our second video. I suspect that this video does not have any description, which is not actually what I asked for. It's nice because we're listening also to the system. Clearly, you, we may find some problems with uh, copyright. So it's always better just to present the system. I must admit that's the ideal. Nope. As I imagined. Well, unfortunately, I think this comes from Fernando. There's not, there's not that much I can say and we can understand here because also the resolution and the, the lightning isn't that strong, you guys. Be careful. A lot of vintage gear, a lot of different loudspeakers I see. Sony, Pioneer, BMW, what else? Very hard, very hard. Please keep in mind, we want a description. We want to know something. We want details, okay? Go inside, go close to the stuff. Otherwise, this is just the sound and I... As I said, we can't put that because there are going to be problems with the copyright. Okay, let's proceed with the third one. Hi, Guido. This is Stuart. Guido. Okay. No, well, I understand. I mean, not everyone knows my name. And uh, it, it come, a lot of um, English people, English speaking people pronounce it Guido. No, it's Guido. Guido, okay? So, I comment on your channel quite a bit. Tell them about my system. This turntable... You're looking at, I bought this turntable about 30 years ago at a Goodwill store for 50 bucks and it looks like a dream. And I have a, an Otofon 2M blue cartridge on that turntable with a, an Audio Technica super high-end head shell, fully adjustable. This turntable is fully automatic. And then these are my studio monitors. Got two sets of them. And then I got another pair on the other side. Now this is my dream turntable. I like a lot. It's an old vintage Pioneer PL600. Fully automatic direct drive. And this is my Audio Technica AT33SA moving coil cartridge with the same type of head shell that was on the JVC. And down below, and underneath there, you, I have a ProJet XLR moving coil phono stage. That sent me back a few dollars. It sounds like a dream. It's fully XLR hookup from the inputs and outputs or RCA. I really don't have a stereo system. Mine is more like a PA system. And I have two of these Pioneer PL200s direct drive turntail 
that I modified for 78 playback. That phone cartridge is a 1949 GE VR2 moving magnet cartridge and it sounds great. Then back here I have another 78 turntable and these turntables are fully modified to play 78. Now on this one I got a 2M78 cartridge on it with a regular um, Otofon hair cell. Then I have another turntable up here. I don't use it all the time, but it's rigged up so it'll play a 15 speed vinyl record and, and I got a Christmas record that plays it that I could play on this turntable. And of course, these are my real to real machines. Got an old 80-8 TAC. I got a lot of TAC machines. And this here is a Pioneer. Uh, I think it's called, I can see the name. 1012L 4 track. It's not fully hooked up yet, but all the TACs are hooked up. And I bought these NAB, NAB hubs on Amazon. They were dirt cheap. And I only I only use the best tapes on, on these machines. Then here I have a an Allen Heath GL3300 40 channel mission dash and I got a steel on it. I only pay a couple hundred bucks for it and there's nothing wrong with it. It's like brand new shape. And it's tell you what, it's very quiet. There's all my mic pre's that I use. And my system also has three uh XLR patch bays that I made myself. Strictly all studio gear. There's the other stack. Here's my 21 inch shove woofer. I got six shove woofers in the front room. I got an 18 and a 21 inch shove woofer. And these are my power amps down here for the shove woofer. Got them both bridge. I used two PA2 dry rack the state deck you see here, this is my 1967 MPEX AG440. It beats the sound of vinyl records, I, I ain't kidding. Four track heads on there came out of a recording studio. Wow, Garrett. Now, incredible. How much stuff do you have in there? It seems small, but it's crammed full. I love the fact that here we have a musician or a producer, somebody that is listening music. That's why we're on this channel, but it's also, he's also producing music. So special ear there, I believe. Very, very cool. Love the reel to reels. Wow. Especially the Ampex in the end. Fantastic. A lot of them actually. Uh, are you using them? I bet you are. I mean, there's also, you have a console, a lot of uh, mic pre's. You're, you're active, baby. Wow, fantastic. And I love also the collection of uh, turntables. <laughs> you have quite a number there. Also, also those fantastic PLs by Pioneer. Wow, great collection, great stuff, even the carts. Great job. And thanks all for the, for the comments because I know you're really active sometimes on my channel. Fantastic, R great. Let's proceed to the fourth one now. You guys, you have to describe, you have to speak, otherwise it's boring for people. It's not that self-explanatory. Some, yes, but not everything. At least you got close to the, to the stuff.
So if I understand correctly, the sound Metallica is coming from the radio. You, you, you routed the signal there. Is that correct? I don't know. It gives me that impression from the video. You have to talk, you guys. Nice Akai and great receiver collection. Why not put a cassette on for us? I think you're just streaming, right? Well, nice man cave. I like that you have two systems, one in the kitchen, very close actually. Uh, those active, if I don't go wrong, Pioneer loudspeakers, cool. But we're missing some commentary. Don't forget, you guys. Let's proceed with the last one, okay? Hope you're talking in this one. Hi, everybody. My name is David Saunier from Broussard, Louisiana, southern United States. Here's a quick look at my stereo. Speakers are by Zoo Audio. These are Dirty Weekend Specials. Uh, the only option, I added Jupiter capacitor upgrades. And they sound fantastic. Taking a look at the components, Emotiva XPA2 amplifier and the matching XSP1 preamp. These are fantastic, very natural sounding. I love them. CD100 by Emotiva. This was a Basex or a Basics model. Got it in a scratch and dent sale for pretty cheap. I don't play a lot of CDs, but I do play CDs once in a while. And then above that is the, the two little small units above that are the moving coil cartridge preamp and the power, uh, I guess the power unit for the Riga Planar 6, which uh, has an Anaya moving coil cartridge. Sounds fantastic. I love this turntable. It was an up, upgrade from a P2 that I started out with. Uh, interconnects, blue jean cables for the speakers. And the interconnects are mostly Emotiva and a couple of other, ooh, I want to say they may be, it may, the rest may be um, Emotiva as well. But I do have blue jean speaker cables, nothing really expensive and n nothing special. I made my own LP bins with two sheets of plywood. One sheet of plywood made this one. One sheet of plywood made this one, and I really like it because it looks like it's a record shop in here. So I can kind of flip through all of my all of my records, you know, and my friends like coming over and looking through all my, my albums, and, you know, they have a good time here. And anyway, it's um, it does hold uh, my whole album collection. I've got maybe 300, and I still have plenty of room for a lot more. So... Uh, Here's the uh, the other one, and there's a little bit messy there. I'm trying to figure out where to put my ultrasonic cleaner. But these are all the panels made by GIK Acoustics, and uh, I've got them on the ceiling as well. And um, these were phenomenal. They actually, uh, the, the sound improvement in this room uh, is, is like night and day, and it really allowed me to hear so much more music. And I, I highly recommend if you have a room, get it acoustically treated, either do it yourself or have somebody uh, custom design what you need for your room. So anyway, here's what I have. I hope you enjoy it. And um, uh, thanks for thanks for listening. Well, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Very nice little room. Very cozy. I like the fact that you put the records that way, that you did it by yourself and you put it on display and then can people come around, pick one up and put it. Very cool. That's something I would like to do as well. No room. Uh, too many records. I like a lot the speakers. Actually, those, I, I never heard them, okay? But I would really love to hear them here in Italy in my room. 
very, very interesting design. Great turntable. I love also the fact that it has the step up with its power supply. Very cool. Or, or just a phono preamp. Maybe just a phono preamp. In any case, a nice set by Riga and all the rest by Emotiva. Very nice. I love also congratulations for the amazing room acoustic treatment you did. Wow. Now that I'm sure really boosted your, your experience. Very, very cool. Congratulations. Okay, guys. This was the short first version of this type of video. Let me know in the comments if you like it, because I would like to do something, as I said, stable, like every once in a while, every one, one, one or two weeks, try to do a little extra bonus video or just the normal video for the, for the week and show your amazing stuff, because I think it's fun and it's useful because you can get ideas on how to do things what's out there. It's, it's always good to, to share this information. Thank you again for watching and remember that music is born analog. Ciao, belli! Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.